All right, students. So let us see this particular problem for today. It's one of the easiest questions that I have picked, but a tricky one because a lot of you have some sort of fear when factorial comes in. And this question is asking about a unit place of factorial raised to power factorial. In case you are wondering where have I picked this question from, so this question is from B Stats 2010 paper. One of the most easiest questions of what what I have seen from the ISI examination, right? So now. First of all, it's a very easy question because it is asking unit place of factorial. So now don't be confused about factorial raised to power factorial. In fact, a lot of you have given it the right answer, but you should remember something here. Sir, what we should remember? Is there anything to remember? Remember that 5 factorial gives you the first 0 at the unit place. If you will notice, if you will solve 5 factorial, it will give you 120. So obviously 6 factorial, which will be multiplying it by 6, will give you 720. That means odd, uh, you know, the position, uh, unit position is fixed. That is, it will be 0 for 6 factorial and 5 factorial. Now the only issue is that since that means, what do you mean by this, that they will they will not contribute to unit place. They cannot contribute to the unit place, right? That's a basic thing because zero is there in the unit place. But now the question that we have is having addition, then subtraction. And it is, this is how this particular question is moving around, right? This is how it is. So if we solve this as one minus two plus six, then you will have minus 24. So if you will notice, and there is again here, 120 here, right? That is what we do have. So if we notice, what will be the calculation of this? This comes out to be minus 18, minus 1, 120. So if you notice, this will be what? 101 minus 19. So this will be 101. And then you will have again minus 6 factorial here. And so and so forth, it will uh, go. But do not get confused because at the end, there will be plus 25 factorial, which will be making it the entire term to be positive. Now, notice in the other way, right, that now the confusion pops in that says this will be minus 720, right? This will be minus 720. But if you rather than going from this direction, if you come from this direction also, right, if you will come from this direction, you know that this is going to be having zero zero in the end because all the numbers whether you add them or subtract them will be having zero because six factorial is zero seven factorial will also have zero in the unit place and so and so forth and honestly this will be a positive number why positive because at the end you can see that you have 25 factorial so do not get confused now this is 101 and there will be some positive number whose unit digit is equivalent to zero so the net unit digit net unit digit kitna ho jayega? we can say it will be one so hence if the net unit digit is one if your unit digit comes out to be one what will be the, your answer to unit digit irrespective of any power yes that's the answer so a little sort of trickiness was in there in in between but i suppose most of you would have been able to do that this particular problem and hence easy problem gives you confidence but make sure you now do not get confused with factorial raised to power factorial terms okay students so this will be your uh, homework question do try to solve it let me know in the comment section that how and what is the answer that you have got for this particular problem